For decades now, NASA and scientists all over the world have created high-tech top-of-the-line equipment to fly deep into the cosmos and search for the unknown. But out of all the technology we have launched into space, nothing even comes close to NASA's newest project, the James Webb Telescope. This telescope is fitted with some mind-blowing technology that is decades ahead of its predecessor, the Hubble Telescope. NASA has even added what they are calling their secret weapon aboard the telescope that they believe will help detect alien life in our universe. After years of delays and tweaking, the telescope is finally hurtling through the cosmos, ready to observe and collect data in ways that have never happened before. So what is NASA's secret weapon on board the James Webb Telescope? Why is it so special? And what makes them so sure that we will finally find concrete evidence of alien life? The James Webb Space Telescope is a considerably larger and much more sophisticated device than the Hubble, with far more ambitious aspirations too. For starters, unlike Hubble and other ground-based telescopes, it will only collect infrared radiation and will not investigate the visible half of the electromagnetic spectrum. Why is this? Well, it is actually due to a variety of factors. For starters, infrared is the best wavelength for seeing through dust, which is significant since stars and planets develop in dusty environments. If you want to know where and how other solar systems are formed, the James Webb should be a valuable resource. The telescope will be looking for the dustiest regions of our galaxy, with plans to deeply investigate them. Furthermore, Capturing infrared radiation is the greatest way to study atmospheres of planets that contain compounds like methane, which might indicate whether they are capable of sustaining life. Spectroscopy is a valuable tool for studying the genesis of potential planets in our own galaxy. While James Webb's primary mission comprises of gazing at stars in our own galaxy, Scientists also aim to investigate the very early universe in the years after the Big Bang, which occurred 13 billion years ago. This necessitates concentrating on very distant galaxies. By using high-tech cameras and mirrors, James Webb is going to be looking at images of stars and planets that took millions of years to travel through space. Essentially, it will be looking back in time, because the image it sees just now took so long to get to us that it's really glimpsing a shot of the past. By doing this, it will grant a lot of information about how the universe and the planets inside it were formed. So how exactly is the James Webb doing all of this? Well, it all comes down to what NASA considers their secret weapon, a mirror so large that it's even hard to comprehend. The James Webb Telescope's mirror is truly unlike anything you've ever seen, and one that can literally show us the deepest reaches of space. Both the Hubble and Webb telescopes are Cassegrain reflector-type telescopes. They capture light with the main mirror and concentrate it on a secondary mirror, which then focuses the light on instruments to generate a picture. But this isn't the sort of mirror you find in your bathroom. Oh no, not even close. That's because, to have a more powerful telescope, you need a much larger main mirror. The James Webb's main mirror is 21 feet in diameter, compared to Hubble's 7 feet. This is one of the reasons astronomers are thrilled about it. However, 21 feet is too big to fit within a rocket's fairing or nose cone. To provide for a compact launch configuration, the Webb's main mirror is made up of 18 smaller individual parts, each of which can be independently adjusted and are separated into two folding wings and a center portion. With all those pieces, you can comprehend why scientists are a bit nervous about the Webb telescope unfolding on its own in space. There are so many ways things could go wrong once the process starts in just a few weeks. Plus, there are even more moving pieces to take into account. Webb also uses a multi-layered parasol to protect its delicate equipment from the sun. The sunshade is the size of a tennis court and rolls up into folds for launch. But now that the telescope is in space, it must unfurl in exactly the correct way, or else it will be completely useless and the project won't be able to achieve its goals. The entire unfurling process is all done after launch. In fact, just 10 days after its launch into space, the telescope starts to open itself up 
and prepare for its primary objectives. This was all part of what the team referred to as 30 Days of Terror. That's because if one thing goes wrong, the entire mission is kaput. The James Webb Telescope isn't staying close to Earth either. It's jetting to an area of space called Lagrangian Point 2, or L2, which is about a million miles away from our planet. It's a spot in space where the gravity of Earth and the gravity of the Sun cancel out, which will allow Webb to keep Earth at its back as the telescope orbits around our star. In other words, Webb isn't designed to be repaired or fixed, even from afar. NASA calls it a non-serviceable mission, meaning that it'll all be run automatically on its own far from the reaches of Earth. If all goes to plan, the Webb telescope will arrive undamaged and scientists on Earth may finally breathe a sigh of relief. But it's just a small sigh of relief, because after the arduous travel, a new chapter in the Webb project starts – the Optical Telescope Element Commissioning Sequence. Now, scientists must carefully tweak the 18 individual mirror segments in order, utilizing a faraway star as a point source of light to guarantee that all pictures come in crisp. It will take around 10 days to complete this task. After, the multi-instrument alignment phase will follow, which entails another week of accurately adjusting each mirror section to guarantee that pictures are focused for all four web instruments. But it doesn't end there. The crew will spend weeks inspecting each instrument to verify that it is in working order. The alignment of the telescope mirrors as well as the focusing and verification of all the equipment will take around six months to get right. In the best case scenario, scientific observations will not begin until at least July of 2022. But that's nothing for the team behind James Webb. They've been waiting decades for this moment. The journey of the James Webb Telescope started nearly 40 years ago. It was when the Hubble Telescope was still young, and scientists were starting to think of its successor and what it would be. A group decided that the science behind what would become James Webb was the best way to get a clean, accurate, in-depth image of the galaxy around us. Through careful planning, testing and development, the team was able to create this state-of-the-art telescope with its folding mirrors and massive sunshade. They knew that great risks came with it, but nothing good comes easy. Yes, there is a chance that something could go wrong, but if NASA is able to pull this off and find extraterrestrial life, it will truly be a life-changing event. Thanks for watching another episode of Voyager. While you're still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more mind-blowing content about space. I'll see you there.